Hello, Nick here from Early Mark. Have you been disappointed with the exposed concrete finishes on your project? Me too. Well, we're not the only ones either. First, let's discuss why that happened. And secondly, let's come up with a solution. So, why did it happen? Well, it's likely your documentation wasn't tight enough. Believe it or not. So what's the solution? Let's talk about it. Today in particular, I'm talking about a class two concrete finish. So let's first cover what class two concrete finish is. It's actually the most commonly specified architecturally exposed finish. And it's also one of the most problematic and often installed poorly. It's the aesthetic finish of the formed concrete surface. It has nothing to do with structural uh, design. It's what you can see and what you can touch. So vertically, it's your columns and your walls. Horizontally, it's the underside of your slabs or your exposed concrete suffetes. It's not the top side of your concrete slab. They're worked concrete finishes, which is separate. Something like a power float finish or perhaps a polished finish. There's actually five classes of concrete finish. So class one, this is basically the highest finish attainable. Imagine it's nearly perfect super expensive, super hard to achieve, and you'd really only specify that on monumental projects. Class two, what we're talking about today, is the acceptable architecturally exposed front of house finish. It has a nice smooth finish and a uniform appearance. Class three concrete uh, is typically used back of house or areas of lower aesthetic importance, and class four and five, we're not even gonna talk about this, but today they're all concealed finishes. So what is the solution then? How do you document class two concrete finishes properly? Well, there's two parts to consider. Number one, you wanna specify the quality requirements of the formwork and the concrete. AS 3610.1 is the Australian standard that you should become familiar with uh, and refer to that in your specification. You should specify the concrete mix, uh, including any cement colors, aggregate color and size, any color oxides perhaps. And you want to specify the formwork, so the quality of the plywood, how smooth it is, the form release agents, uh, and also the pattern of the form tie holes and the, the formwork joint symmetry. And if you want colour controlled concrete, AS3610.1 also has a tonal scale chart so that you can select from. So you select a range of tones and you specify them in your spec. But keep in mind, if you do want uh, colour controlled class two concrete, you need to specify as class two C. The letter C indicates that it is colour controlled. And then number two, you outline your procedural requirements. So you wanna request small scale samples of your concrete finish first, uh, including the proposed formwork, your mix and the ratios, colour oxides, etc. as we discussed. Uh, after that, you want to get a request a larger format sample panel or a prototype panel. This can be, let's say, 1800 by 1800, um, which you can then see your edge details and make sure the surface finish is acceptable. Once you've accepted those, you want to request a quality benchmark, meaning that the first installation of the works must be reviewed and accepted prior to continuing on and pouring the rest of the works. So this then sets a quality benchmark for the rest of the works to uh, adhere to. And you wanna make sure that first one matches your samples and your prototypes. So now you've done the best specification in the world, how do you assess the quality? Well, AS3610.1, as I mentioned before, is still your best friend here. It outlines the procedure for evaluating the quality of the finish, including the size of blowholes, honeycombing, form tie holes. It even tells you the distance, the viewing distance for how far back you need to stand. So I hope that's given you some guidance and some help on how to achieve a class two concrete finish. Um, if you have any further questions or comments, please let us know. Look forward to hearing from you.